Hi everybody, I'm Mark Hayward, professional comedy yo-yo man <laughs> and maker of things. After 25 years, I'm gonna fix my pencils. Pencils. I have been using this kind of mechanical pencil for, well, this is probably 30 years old now. It's a Scripto P200. I always thought they were the best mechanical pencils that I'd ever seen. They've got this really sharp point for super precise drawing, but they have a, a very serious design flaw, and that is that this cap that holds the eraser in has a tendency to crack. The plastic is pretty brittle. The problem is that from the action of erasing, this thin plastic wall breaks, and then at some point, all of them are gonna break off and you're just gonna have a little nub. Yesterday, I got to spend some time with my friends Will and Eric Roman and their brand new 3D printer. It's pretty fun. Uh, I knew that they were getting it a couple weeks ago, and they asked if I had anything that I wanted to make, and it took a while for me to figure out if there was anything, and I realized I had the perfect thing. I'm gonna fix my pencils. My friend Eric Roman is a professional designer. If you'd like to learn more about what he does, you can find his information in the video description. I got a little bit of footage of the printer. It makes awesome space sounds. We are living in the future. Right now, we live in the future. The fact that I can go to a friend's house, hang out in their basement, and make a part from scratch, have this science fiction fantasy machine just make a part for me, that's, it's unbelievable. I'm so, I'm so happy to be living in this day and age where we can just make anything we want, design it, make it, right in our own homes, it's incredible. The question, of course, is why is this worth the trouble? Is a mechanical pencil really that interesting? These specific pencils are better than other ones that I've used, and it's not that hard sometimes to fix something. And there's really great pride that I take when I've brought something back to life. You know, it's, it's a mechanical pencil. I could just throw it out and get a new one, but now these pencils are, well, they're minimum 30 years old. They may be 35 years old. They're still in great shape, but there's something that is so special about a, an old tool. And these pencils don't look old yet, they don't feel old, they don't have the same kind of patina that an old steel tool would have, but they've seen a lot of mileage. When I was a kid, I liked to do a lot of drawing with my friends. We'd draw monsters, or we'd make army bases, or spaceships, or whatever. Now I use them, I use a regular pencil for, for rough marking, but when I need to make a really precise line, man, there's nothing better than a mechanical pencil. I've now got two red ones and a blue one. At some point I had a yellow one, but I don't know. I don't know where it is. Seems unlikely I would have thrown it away, but who knows, 30 years is a long time. And as they say, three moves is as good as a fire. And in the last 30 years, I have moved seven times. So there's stuff, I don't know where it is. I will never know where it is. Maybe it'll turn up. Check this out. When I went to find my old drawings, I opened my drawing binder. Lo and behold, my yellow mechanical pencil. I thought it was lost. Look at this. There it is. Unfortunately, it's damaged. The tip must have gotten bent or something at some point, and so I pulled the little tube out. And of course, the cap is all cracked, as they all are, but I have it. I have my yellow one. So I guess my point is, you can take great pride in very small things. For me, repairing these pencils is something that's been, I've been wanting to do, and I really didn't think it was possible until this week. And to be able to to do some maintenance on a little kind of unimportant tool that I love. I don't know, makes me feel good. It just gives me one more small thing in my life that has 
uh, an increased value and that I take great pride in owning and great pride in using. It took about, I don't know, five tries. I think maybe the sixth iteration was finally the right one. Just changing the different sizes, the thickness. Um, sometimes they would fit, sometimes they wouldn't. So here we go. Here's the new little piece I've made. I've got both uh, red and a blue pencil. So we've got the new piece on each pencil. The plastic that was used in the original pencil is pretty brittle. And that's one of the beautiful things about uh, using this 3D printer is that we can choose the material. This is a more durable plastic. Uh, you can see that the color match is not perfect. The, the red is just a little bit off. I'm totally okay with that. The blue is quite a bit off. I don't like this color combo as much. I would be a little happier if it were the same color as the original cap, but it's all right. It just uh, means that each time I look at them, it's going to remind me that I did this work and that I fixed this myself. One thing that's interesting is the fit of the, the red replacement caps is much looser than the blue ones. Uh, I'm not sure why. You know, they're, they're printed with the same files. So I'm not sure why the blue ones would be a snugger fit. So if you know something about that, please leave me a comment. I'd be fascinated to know why the two plastics behave differently. I still have to go to the office store and get some replacement erasers. But other than that, the project is all finished. If you have any, I don't know, mechanical pencil stories, please leave me a comment. If you have any, if you use these pencils and want to tell me about it, I would love to hear about it. And uh, if you know anyone else who would enjoy this video, please share it. If by some odd chance you have a Scripto P200 that you'd like to repair and you'd like to print the part, I've got the file on my website, markhayward.net. You can download it for free. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, you can find me on Twitter and YouTube as Mark Hayward. And on Instagram and Facebook, I am the Mark Hayward. I've got a lot of tools in my workshop that have great stories, and I'm going to be telling some of those stories in videos coming up. So if you want to see more stories about interesting tools, if you want to see me making stuff, please take a minute and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on the button to get notifications. What else? What else is cool about pencils?